Here comes Glenn Catley. It's the big moment. Let's join Glenn McCrory and Ian Dow. The trainer leading him out. They prepared well. Catley has spent two months sparring with nothing but southpaws. He says he's absolutely sick of them. Twelfth and final round for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Glenn Catley for what he hopes would be a night of destiny. And a huge right hand! He's had some very low moments, Glenn Catley, but each time he's lost, somehow he's managed to regroup and improve, and this is the crowning moment. In Germany 2000, Glenn Catley of Bristol became the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Controversially, he lost the title in South Africa. Scotland Yard forensics later proving his opponent cheated by putting solid objects in his gloves. After this, Glenn lost his will to carry on boxing and stopped completely in 2003. Now, three and a half years on, at 34 years of age, Glenn Catley will make his return to the ring. Steady go! Steady go! Daddy. I'm going to whoop your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see Daddy? And this is some of the liver beaten the day I die. I'll never ever forget this. The lift went down and the doors opened up. There's all my family and all my friends in the party. And as I walked out, a massive roar went up, just as I just as I dreamed about every you know, before the fight. And there I am with my belt, my wife, and my kids in my arm. <laughs> when I um, I won the British title back in January 98, proposed in yeah, front of a live Sky TV audience. Millions of people. Said no. no. I was stupid I would have looked if she did say no money. <laughs> what a plum I would have been. Thankfully she said yeah. <laughs> and uh, here we are now, a few years later. Three kids. Mm. Yeah. Dog. Dog. <laughs> We're doing alright. <laughs> Got myself in the gym, started the training, got myself reasonably fit, started sparring, and you know I just I just really enjoying it again. And um, like I said, and um, that's the main difference with, with, with now as opposed to three years ago. I'm enjoying it. And I'm loving every minute of it. You do should be on ten. Busy. All done. All done. All fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty quick, really, sir. Yeah, my family are my life. This is the whole purpose I'm doing this, basically. Um, if I can get to the top of the tree again, then the financial rewards are there. And that's what I want to provide to the best of my ability for them. So is this your kind of music then? I think this is just... Um, this is now now I wanna I listen I got some funny things. <laughs> Michael Ball, Willie Joel. Cool. Dire stories I got listen to anything. I had a go up trying to play the guitar. I, lo I love to sing. Yeah. I love singing. I'll never tell the love for free you can bring your air with me. As time went on, I was watching fights. I knew I could beat these guys that I've been watching on TV. And I just got to a stage and I thought, you know, perhaps I did finish too soon. I know there's fights that I can win. It's certainly unfinished business there. And I've just got to get out of my system. Simple as that, really. If I, didn't, if I didn't try it out, if I didn't do it now, then when I am 45 or 50, but it would be too late. I would, I would have you know, always asked myself a question, mm, what if this, and maybe I should have done that, you know? If I didn't do it now, I always wonder, wonder what if. My wife looked up basically at the end of it. I was always messing about trying to drink out. She looked up and she said, Glenn, for goodness sake, if you're going to do it, do it now. And uh, that was it, really. That was all the, that's all I really needed to hear, you know? Boom! It comes over, lovely. I'm leaving it there. Bang! It was like that. Yeah. Bang! Instead of that, boom! Nigel Christian is one of these guys. He could train you in a telephone box. He was a, he was a forward PT instructor in the army. 
and uh, he's, he's just a very close friend also. Been all over the world with Nigel, and we've, you know we've, we've had some great, great encounters, and we, we could write a book between us. You know the stories we could tell. Well, when you're down there, it's a long way to come when the shot's coming. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we could bug you with my right hand. Yeah, 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 so I'm going to count to him on the left okay, yeah, yeah. and meet you with the left upper You know what I'm saying? Sure, I'm going that way. Bam! Yeah. You know what I mean? Huh. You know what I mean? If you want it up, you want to have anything, yeah. just throw it up. Huh? I've a lot of pads with Medi. Uh, he's a good guy, very, very good pad man. And um, teaches you some good things, you know, and we sort of bounce off each other, right? You off each other, you know, we sort of gel. And, and uh, yeah, he's helped me out enormously. You see, look, right, where I am, through that job, I do that way. I could do, I could do one, two, and I'm out. Yeah. yeah? Now, when you get down there, and you're down there, you're going to have to do that Send him out on challenges all the time. But they, they've set it up so we've got a challenge meet to a couple of rounds of sparring. On, the, on our Russian toy answering machine from Glenn Catley, former world boxing champion. Uh, something's happened to his sparring partner. You're going to hear Kevin the Camp Crusader get in the ring with one of Britain's best boxers. Yes, you're up for the challenge then. Are you going to do this this morning? Um, I might let him batter me in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually got Glenn with us, guys. If you want to have a chat with him, he can hear you. Good morning, good morning. Very, very well. Very excited about this, and uh, oh. it's going to be fun. Yeah, Glenn the Cat Catley versus Kevin the Camp Crusader. I can't wait. It's coming up next on GWRFM on the Bush and Choi Show. <laughs> go, go, boys! Oh, oh, fuck <laughs> okay. Glenn's just, just basically punching Kevin quite repeatedly. In the <laughs> His coach has had to hold him back. <laughs> They threw with, with your elbow there. Okay, and um, oh, uh, we're gonna have. Oh, 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 o